All right, greeting from Lenawee County in the great state of Michigan. I am a Lenawee trucker, and we do have a little project today. I want to get these brakes changed. Um, I don't know if you can see that. They're pretty much gone. And last time I was driving the car, it was grinding like, well, you probably wouldn't believe. I need an extension on that. There it is. An old one that's probably older than all you guys out on, inter out on the internet. Oh, yes. Now, last time this back one was worked on was when I had tires put on. And they used an impact wrench. This is going to get difficult. I can see it coming. All right, this is going to take some thinking here. I don't have an impact wrench. But I got to get that wheel off. I got to loosen those babies up. All right, I think I've got something here. Yes, that is exactly what it looks like. We're going to take this, and we're going to put this thing right over the top of it like that. Oh boy, it doesn't want to budge. My, my, my. All right. That's going to work. Remember, where there's a wheel, there's an angry technician. Now, where was I before I was so rudely interrupted by reality? Oh, yeah. we got to get the wheel off real quick. All right. Now, if you guys can't afford it, or if you got one, I would highly recommend doing this inside a garage. Something where you're not on a gravel surface. Okay, that seems to be the spot right there where the jack would go. Okay, we've engaged the frame rail. I do believe it's off the ground. Yeah, it's off the ground. All right, let's get this done. I need that. Like that. Now, since I am on a gravel parking lot or driveway, as you can see, and you can see that's sitting into the ground, the weight of the car is pushing it down into the ground. I don't want that to be the only thing that's hold, uh, keeping me safe. But since I don't have jack stands, I'm kind of... Ah, there we go. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yeah. Oh, and those are deep too. <laughs> All right, but since I don't have um, the necessary jack stands, I do have something that can keep me safe. I would rather have it come down on the wheel than on me. Fourteen millimeter. And look at that. Uh, 
Uh, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Not unexpected. It's only been on there for how long? Five years? And there you go. Look at that. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Can you hear those birds? Cheep, 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 cheep. Remember when they used to put the big, long ones in? Sweet. Come on. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> yeah. Like it's going to. Oh yeah, it's pretty far out there, look at that. And I'll show you how to take care of that in a second. Now before you start getting angry about how I'm doing things, remember, this is going away. Yeah, I think I got my money's worth out of that. Gee, why oh why do I have a sixteenth of an inch bridge right here. I mean, ridge right here. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm gonna have to take that whole caliper off, ain't I? Yeah, I think I am. All right. Not a problem, not a problem, not a problem. I hope. Because <laughs> I'm changing this to, I, I want this rotor gone. Gee, why oh why would I have a grinding sound? Okay. Put them back where you found them or you'll never find them again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haunted by front shop teachers from the past. Let's try this again. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, get out of the way, you. There you go. No, oh, and I can see the red Loctite on it already. <laughs> Boy, it did a job, didn't it?
There you go. Yep. Red Loctite. Alright. So be it. I got plenty of red. Oh, come on. What? It doesn't want to sit on their flush. What's in the way? Oh, I bet you, I bet you that, that little bugger's right in the way, right there. I need something smaller. There you go. Yeah, more red Loctite. Look. I can't blame them. I mean, it's only holding my brakes on, right? <laughs> and as any drag racer will tell you, you know, brakes only slow you down. Ha ha! It's amazing, isn't it? What this little piece does. Okay, come on, baby. There you go. All right. There you go. Come here, you. Give me one of those. Yeah, I put it on backwards so it'll hold it better. So, what I'll do is I'll get this thing back on, get some juice on these little suckers, and we'll go from there. Now, from everything that I've read in my service manual, this slips into here like so. And what you gotta do is you gotta turn it clockwise. And you just turn it clockwise and it screws it back in. All right, I've got to figure out which one this is. This is getting aggravating. All right, let's try that. Let's try that. Now, you screw it in, you put a little pressure on it, and it pushes the thing back into place. Come on, baby. Now, I'm not sure nobody said anything about it seating or anything like that, but And as you can see, it goes right back down, and I'm thinking it probably can go down a little bit further. How about that side? Well, it doesn't seem to be going down any further, so... 
All right. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Big surprise. There you go. All right. Let's try this again. Let's try this again. Duh. Doing it again. You know, they let me drive, too. Okay. Now, <laughs> come on. Give me a break. I could have gone at least 20 more feet with this one. These, yeah, I could probably go another 50, 60,000 miles. But I could have gone 20 more feet with this. <laughs> Sweet. Well, as you can see, I've got it back on. The brake shoes are in place. Now, if everything else goes the way it should, I should be able to should be able to fit right over the top of them. Come on, baby. Line up. Come on. Come on. There you go, baby. There you go. All right. Yeah, right. You got to hit the hole, stupid. <laughs> Story of my life. I mean, come on. Uh-huh. That one don't want to line up. There we go. There we go. Come on, let it go. <sighs> All right. There you go. And that's how easy it is to fight with a Malibu brake system. <laughs> Once you get to this point, you are not done. This is the part where you get into the car and you go for a drive and you find out the horrible, awful truth that you got no brakes because you just pushed everything back up into the system. So, what I want to do is just pump up the brakes right now. Oh yeah, went all the way down. There we go. Two or three times and it should get back to normal and it's back where it's supposed to be all right all right what are you not hearing that's right you're not hearing the grinding you're not hearing anything just the awesome power of a four-cylinder oh 100 and i know it's supposed to be 200 and some horsepower but yeah right Oh, and the brakes are just as touchy as ever. Excellent. Excellent. All right. I think I got it. Mileage is 152, 761 miles. And 71 degrees here in Lenaway County. Lenaway Trucker, out.